Hi, this is Mayesh and uh, through this video I would like to demonstrate the usage of Selenium with TestNG uh, to create data driven test scripts. Selenium like uh, most of you would know is an open source uh, test automation tool uh, which can be used to automate uh, actions on a web based application. TestNG is a test automation framework. Uh, which can make uh, regression test automation much easier for us. We'll be using the Java language uh, as our scripting language and we'll be using the popular uh, integrated development environment Eclipse uh, to develop our script and uh, we'll be using Microsoft Excel to keep our test data. We are going to start from the scratch, uh, so uh, let's first create a workspace directory uh, for Eclipse. Uh, so I'm going to create one uh, on, on the root uh, directory of my C drive. Uh, let's call it uh, My Eclipse Workspace. So there we go. Now we open up Eclipse. And uh, go to the file menu. Then point to the workspace that we just created. There you go. Click on OK. It will restart the Eclipse IDE. There we are. Uh, click on the workbench icon. Uh, that will that will take us to the project explorer view. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to create a project. That that's the starting point. So I'm going to do just that. Create a Java project. Right click, new Java project. Uh, let's call this the data driven test project click on next click on finish and the project is created the next thing that we'll do is we'll create a new folder within our project folder uh, let's call it LIB short for library uh, this is where we will keep all the jar files jar files are typically library files uh, that require that contain uh, features and functions that we will be using uh, within our test script so right click on the project go to the new option uh, go to folder type in lib short for library click on finish and new library folder is created within our project so this is a set of uh, jars uh, that we would be needing uh, to make our example work uh, the first one is a selenium server jar uh, i have mentioned the url next to each and every jar uh, you could uh, go go to this particular URL and uh, get the get the required jar. Uh, so the first one is a Selenium server jar, like I said, uh, this is part of Selenium RC. Um, the second one is a Java Selenium Java client driver jar. Uh, the third one is a test ng jar. This is the test ng framework uh, that we will be using. Uh, the fourth one is a JXL jar. Uh, this is the interface. Uh, that we would use to uh, interact with the Microsoft Excel uh, data store. Uh, the fifth one is a JUnit jar. Uh, although we are not using JUnit in this example, uh, but in order to work with Selenium RC, uh, you would be needing this jar. Uh, additionally, we would also be requiring a test ng plugin. Uh, this is used to uh, this is a test ng plugin for Eclipse, and uh, this is used to work with the test ng script from within Eclipse. So you can download all, the, all of these jars and the plugin from the URL that is mentioned. 
once you have downloaded the jars, uh, you need to place them within the library folder uh, within our data data driven test project. Uh, this is the this is the project this is the project folder uh, within the Eclipse workspace. Uh, like in, like you can see, I have downloaded all the jars and uh, placed them within the lib folder. Now we switch back to the Eclipse uh, IDE. Uh, click on lib and now click on F5 on the keyboard. This will refresh the tree structure and now you can see all the jars within the lib folder. The next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to add these jars to the build path of our Java project. To do that we need to click on the data driven test project uh, and then right click and go to properties and then we go to Java build path and go to libraries tab and click on add jars button. Now within that we need to uh, select all the jars there you go click on OK click on OK again and this will add all the jars to the build path of our project